She's the former East London schoolgirl turned jihadi bride who wants to return to the UK. But today, the Met Police Commissioner made clear Shamima Begum may face investigation and prosecution if she returns. Every individual who comes back will be met at the port. Uh, there will be a plan in place in relation to them uh, and potentially their families on the basis of what we know. Uh, and we will, if appropriate, carry out an investigation. The 19-year-old was found in this refugee camp last week. She gave birth to a baby boy on Sunday. I will admit it's my fault right now. I just want, I just want forgiveness, really, from the UK. Like, everything I've been through, I, I didn't expect I would go through that. But her interview has sparked outrage after she appeared to show little sympathy for the victims of the Manchester Arena bomb attack. I do feel that it's wrong that, people, like, innocent people did get killed. It's like, it's one thing to kill a soldier that is fighting you, you know, it's self-defence, but to kill people, like women and children, just like people, you know, like the women and children in Bagos that are being killed right now, unjustly, by the bombings. It's a two-way thing, really. There are plans to change the law to make travelling to certain terror hotspots a criminal offence, but this won't apply retrospectively to Shamima Begum. It's thought around 425 suspected jihadi fighters have returned to the UK from Syria so far. We will look at the threat and the risk that each individual may pose, and uh, some may, if not prosecuted, still require a considerable amount of monitoring. So that puts a lot of pressure on our resources, of course it does. But it's very hard to know the scale of this right now. Even if Shamima Begum poses no further risk to the UK, some have questioned how signs of her radicalisation weren't spotted. The authorities had information that she was being groomed. Uh, they did not share that information with their parents. Uh, and I, th I find that quite shocking that we didn't safeguard her. We didn't share that information with the parents. And the parents could have intervened. Uh, if you fast forward now, four years, she's a very damaged young woman. Tower Hamlet says this case did not meet the threshold for a serious case review, and instead it worked alongside the government's prevent team and counter-terrorism police. With the Islamic State group practically defeated and its self-proclaimed caliphate crumbling, more deserters may try and follow Shamima Begum back home. She may claim to be an unwitting poster girl for the cause, but her case raises concerns about the effect it could have on the ongoing fight against terror. Charlotte Franks, BBC London News.